Hello everyone and welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th Scale Revelle 1966 Chevelle Station Wagon Model Kit. This kit is part of the Revelle Muscle Series. It is a scale level 2 which will require you to have paint and glue to assemble the model as per directions. It is also a 2013 release. Looking around the outside of the box you can see they have a nice photo of the model built as per the directions and box art. Something a little bit different that you don't see every day, but I kind of like it. Some information and a paint guide. 125 parts in the kit. 7 and 7 eighths inches long. Molded in white. As well as your vinyl tires, clear, translucent parts. And chrome plated parts as well. Here's some more photos of the car. So now what I'll do is open everything up and show you guys more on the parts inside. Opening up the box you can see everything is in individual bags. The clear parts comes in two different bags. Bag with white molded parts. Larger bag with some more white molded parts. Here's your chrome plated parts tree. There's another small chrome plated parts tree. Here are your tires. Nice soft vinyl tires here. And here's your instruction sheet with the decals in the middle. Typical Revell monogram fashion here. Open it up, they show the uh, paint layout as well as the parts count for everything that's in the kit. Here's your decals. I'll give you guys a closer look at those here in a second. But typical what you're going to see with all these new Revell monogram kits. Nice exploded photos here of everything. Black and white as well as the decal placement on the back. Shouldn't be hard to assemble the model. Everything's nicely laid out. Now, beginning with the decals. They look very, very nice. There's some underhood decals there for the $3.96. As well as quite a few other things here. Some more scripting and license plates and this crazy something I've never seen before flame wood grain pattern, which is kind of nuts. I mean, I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but honestly, I'd probably put it on the model just because it's so different. And they also have some other things here, some other striping and the uh, detail there for the drilled brake rotors, which is very nice. And a large Chevy symbol you could put anywhere, more than likely in the back window. Moving on, here's your chrome plating. Everything looks very, very nice, what you'd expect from one of these new Revell kits. Here's your front brake rotors, front and rear I should say. And the wheels that can come on this car are very, very nice. They are, I'd say, probably 18 inch, possibly 20 inch, and they look to be different diameters, or at least the tires look to be different diameters. I have not measured them out, so they could possibly be the same. Maybe it's just my eyes. And speaking of the tires, here are the tires, like I said, these look like they're slightly smaller than these here, but I could be wrong. Overall, they look very nice. Here's another one of your chrome plated parts trees. The valve covers, carburetor, which wouldn't be correct to be chrome. And your valve cover lid there, as well as some other parts. And the clear parts, which come on two trees, which you normally don't see on a stock type kit like this. But it's a station wagon, so you have all the glass for the back windows and everything. Overall, looks excellent. Here are all the white molded parts that come in the kit. There are seven parts trees total plus the body and interior tub. Overall detailing looks to be very nice. Let me give you guys a close up look so you can see for yourself. Starting with the 66 Chevelle station wagon body. The casting looks excellent. Some small mold lines here and there. A little bit of flash. But honestly it's excellent casting. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Detailing is great. 
lacking a little bit on the firewall there I will say but overall everything looks very nice moving on they have a separate interior tub which is very nice and I don't see looks like they have all the sink marks and inconspicuous spots I don't see any actually on here they have some nice texturing for the carpet and the rest of your parts here you got the seat really nice hood on this kit separate parts here for the vent so you can even leave them open nicely detailed independent front suspension rest of your interior parts they have separate door panels which is really nice makes it a little bit easier on painting improves detail firewall and really nice air cleaner assembly here and they include all kinds of extra lines for under the hood. Here's your main chassis. Detailing is very, very nice. Molded in gas tank, molded in frame, all kinds of uh, supports and everything molded in. Part of the front suspension support where the motor mounts go. Here's parts for your engine. Very detailed 396 big block. First I thought that this was a 427 or a 454 which they look similar. You could probably swap the detail decals out and get away with calling it a 427 or a 454. I think they're physically pretty close to the same size. And it looks like this has a 4 speed in it. Which uh... I guess you'd get away with it. I think technically a lot of them were automatics. I don't know if this actually, this car ever really existed, but um, you know, if it did, it probably had an automatic. I know most of the stock uh, models of wagons had automatic transmissions. Here's your dual exhaust. Very nice casting. One thing I can say I do like about this too is it uh, looks to be a larger diameter exhaust. It's not that little uh, tiny you know one to one scale would be like an you know inch and a half or two inches this looks like it's a real like you know two and a half or even three inch exhaust drive shafts more interior parts really nice dashboard they include a separate piece for the top and it looks like one of my pedals got bent or maybe two of my pedals are bent maybe the other one's fine easy fix some more parts here, there's your latches and some springs, differential, their control arms, and some more detailing hose for under the hood. There's your rear axle, control arms. Not a single problem that I could see. Minimal cleanup. Should be just prep, prime and paint. Assembly should be a breeze. Looks to be after taking a good look at the 1966 Chevelle Station Wagon Model Kit from Revell, I do recommend this kit. It looks to be a very nice builder. All the parts look clean. Chrome plated parts tree looks very nice. I like the wheel and tire combination. The decals, while they are a little bit different, it's kind of cool to see something that's a mix of old school with the old uh, wood grain with the new style of flames. I know you don't see a whole lot of station wagons out there, so this is definitely something to take a look at. I stated before this is a 2013 release so it's a brand new kit everything's new even the decals in it I think the wheels and tires are also a new piece I have not seen them in any previous kits thank you all for watching comment rate subscribe more videos to come